The other shoe has dropped uh, for Harvey Weinstein. Uh, he is out. He has been fired from his own company. Uh, you know the story this, that broke last week in the New York Times, uh, the saying that there are allegations over decades that Weinstein had been sexually harassing his employees, actresses in his movies, and the movies you know are huge Oscar-winning movies. So, uh, they, so they canned him. Obviously, they're worried about lawsuits, and they have to do this to be strong no matter what. But um, there is uh, somebody a who was a reporter at the time of the New York Times. Her name is Sharon Waxman. And she says that she wrote an article in 2004 about Weinstein and people procuring women for him. For him. And the article was essentially killed. And the, uh, there's some evidence that Harvey Weinstein is the one who killed it because he has a lot of power. Mm -hmm. He is a liberal guy who is well-connected and the Times kowtowed to him. At least that's, the, that's what, that's what like. she's saying. Yeah. Uh, Sharon is now the executive editor of The Wrap, which is a trade publication. She joins us right now. Sharon, welcome to TMZ Live. Hey there. So tell us, take us back to 2004 and tell us what story you were working on? Well, basically, the story that I had in 2004, and I'm going to try to position my phone so you can see me, um, was that there was uh, an executive on the payroll at Miramax in Italy called Fabrizio Lombardo. At the time, Miramax was owned by the Walt Disney Company. And so I got the green light, uh, who was actually procuring women for Harvey Weinstein. That was the that was the story that I had at the, the allegation, and there was also a story that there was a woman who had had a sexual encounter with Harvey, but I didn't know exactly what kind. I didn't know what it involved. Who had been paid off? So I had those two pieces. I got the green light from the New York Times to go to Europe to to uh, check it out. I did go to both Italy and England, and uh, I came back with what I thought was the goods to write the story, certainly about the executive who ran Miramax Italy but wasn't really a qualified film executive. There were, I had a number of people on the record saying he had no qualifications to be running Miramax in Italy. What ended up being published was a uh, kind of random sounding story about Miramax firing um, an executive in Italy in a kind of a labor dispute, which just seemed like you know, it had no context and nobody paid any attention to it, of course, because the key information as to why he was on the payroll was not in the story. Why? So, what, what, what happened to essentially I kill the meat of the story? Happened. I don't know what happened. I mean, all I know that happened is that I, of course, got a lot, a lot of pushback from, the, from Harvey, which, by the way, I should say, I, I know Harvey well. We went, we've gone through many, many battles, many battles over 20 years. We came out uh, on the other side. We've been friends. We've been, uh, you know, uh, people who know each other. And he's a complicated man. I will say I did not know uh, any of the details and that it was still going on till today. Because uh, people ask me, like, you know why I, I didn't have apparently a full-time reporter on sexual misconduct. It's just not an easy story to report. And so, but in this case, I felt like I had gone to the mat. I really worked hard to get the story on the record, name sources, credible sources. And uh, at the end of the day, the Times didn't run it, you know, except they ran something that was so... Uh, you know, uh, stripped down. It, they didn't spike the story, but they they ran something that was kind of meaningless, essentially. So, Sharon, it sounds like, I mean, what you're saying is that somebody from Miramax, you think, put pressure on the Times? Well, why would they, oh, when you got all that well, information? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if anybody's ever done battle in the media or, you know, or, or tried to write a story that is at all critical of any of Harvey's companies, either Miramax or the Weinstein Company, knows how, uh, how hard he'll fight to get his version of the story out or to make that story go away. I can't imagine you guys have never had that circumstance happen. <laughs> and that's just the nature of the man. That is, that's, and certainly when it comes to New York Times, he cares deeply, 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 most deeply, more deeply than any publication at all ever. He cares what the New York Times says and thinks about him. You said that the guy that you, who was fired in Italy, after you met with him, you wrote that you got a phone call from Russell Crowe and Matt Damon. Yeah, no, 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 I didn't meet with him. I spoke to him on the phone. I, I met with a lot of other people in Italy, but not him. 
Uh, but I did get him on the phone and get, give him a chance to respond to the allegations. And it was, yes, and let me also be clear because a lot of people on social media are beating up on Matt Damon and Russell Crowe. They should stop. Matt Damon and Russell Crowe merely called me at Harvey's request to say that Fabrizio Lombardo is a good guy and they liked hanging out with him in Italy. That's it. They didn't know the context, I'm sure. Right. They didn't know what I had. And they were simply doing a favor, as one does, for a, an important friend, business partner mm. of theirs. A couple, okay? a couple so other... A those, guys, those, guys just, th those guys are not part of this. It's, I'm just, it's just true that he did that to try to convince right. me that my reporting was wrong. There have been stories out that one of the reasons that Harvey Weinstein skated on a story that a lot of people in Hollywood had been talking about for years about sexual harassment uh, is that he is, you know, he is a darling of the liberal media because he champions liberal causes. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's a very hard story to report. The specifics I have are what I've revealed in, in my piece. And I didn't have more than that. I didn't know about anything subsequent to that. Particularly, although there was this case of this Italian actress that was uh, in his office a couple of years ago, and that came out as a police report. But beyond that, I can't say that I was aware at all of sexual harassment or sexual misconduct. Okay, Sharon, uh, really fascinating, um, and especially on the heels of what happened yesterday. Thanks for the time. Yeah, take care, you guys. Thanks again. Make sure to subscribe to TMZ Live to keep up to date on the latest entertainment news. And if you want to keep watching, click on one of these videos right now.